wanted to bring a campaign to our viewers that reignited this magical feeling and made people want to come with us on this magical journey and just make you smile again, make you feel something again, make you feel the emotion that, that you feel every time you sit down and watch MNET. We've been looking for the opportunity for quite a while now to be able to incorporate live environments and miniature sets and stuff. When this job came along, it, it proved to be the, the perfect opportunity to explore that. Filmed in stereoscopic 3D, the ads incorporated miniature sets, stop frame animation, computer graphics and live action. It's the first time a project of this complexity had been embarked upon in South Africa. There's a charming story about a little ladybug who flies through this beautifully lit meadow and she stumbles across a little boy in the middle of the field and he's busy blowing bubbles and she flies towards the bubbles, she's really intrigued and she accidentally gets trapped into one of the bubbles and initially she's very terrified and then as her journey begins into the forest she starts to loosen up and she enjoys this joy ride. We open up on an abandoned house where we notice a little fire flows in love of a light bulb. The light bulb then dies suddenly and the firefly is devastated. He goes off on a dark, lonely journey, and just as he starts to give up hope, he catches a glimpse of something even brighter and more beautiful than his first love. So the firefly finds love again. I was really influenced by kind of underwater plants and environments, and that's why quite a lot of the elements you see in the in the forest scene have got this kind of weird, um, surreal design to it. Um, especially the willow trees are kind of these these sea anemone um, lanterns. I wanted to to make the house as detailed as possible. I looked at a lot of houses actually from San Francisco with the nice uh, brookie lace. And also it's proportions, you know, these, it's, it's kind of very skew, um, goes in at the bottom. Stephen's craftsmanship brought Reed's drawings and vision to life. His experience on the set of 10,000 BC helped transform Reed's illustrations into meticulous miniature models. He borrowed materials from real life, nature, and his own designs to give the world a real, yet fantasy feel. Little areas like the door and the window frames, areas like that that we spent a lot of time on and we built lots of intricate little details in there. We kind of decided on a, on a 1 to 14th scale would basically end up being like 6 by 4 meter set. Shooting for 3D requires that footage for the left and right eye be shot separately so that it tricks the eye into seeing the visual in 3D space. As the ads were shot on a miniature set, it brought its own set of problems. The space between the two camera positions also had to be scaled down proportionally and ended up being only two millimeters apart. To get this level of precision, we needed a motion control arm to photograph one frame at a time in first left, then right perspective. Shooting the two minute footage using this method took more than three weeks of 18 hour days. The boy was shot against the green screen so that he could be comped into the miniature set seamlessly. What we wanted to do with the characters was to obviously make them honour what they look like in nature, but also to create a bit of a, like a heightened reality. You know, the ladybug is a little bit clumsy, but she's also cute, but we didn't just want to keep it that simple, so we added elements like fur and slightly rounded body, cute little sunglasses, things that just takes it a little bit out of the mundane and makes it more compelling or more entertaining for the viewer. The next character that was a main element was the firefly. Like initially, like when I, when I read the script, you kind of got the feeling that he is this lover. That's when I thought giving him the, the moustache and making him a lot inspired by French. The spider as well, a very cool character. He makes a little cameo. Bringing human emotions to the creatures helped create empathy and charm. So an actor was brought in to act out the bug's emotions and his expressions were then mimicked on the bug's face. It was very important for us to, to add as much detail into the, the textures so that we can match that with the amount of detail that we had in our, in our miniature sets. 
The next stage of the process was to bring all the elements together into a seamless whole, where the computer-generated characters, the forest sets and the real-life boy could live in the same world. And these guys would basically then put the, the 3D together, they would put the, the light effects into the shots, they would add the atmospherics and they would basically grade the shots. We're very excited about these groundbreaking 3D magical promos. Mnet truly believes in bringing magical entertainment to our viewers. And the result is beautiful, you know, I think it's a, it's a fantastic collaboration from Shy the Sun to then Black Ginger in the um, post facility, Ogilvy and to Mnet, our, our client, you know, all working really well together. Creating the first fully 3D ads in South Africa with this level of technical expertise finally paid off. Nothing came close to the experience of finally seeing months of hard work on screen. Thank you. 